Oh, hello there! Good day, good day! I am Braggy, and I am the son of Magnor and the Viking. Now, the other day, I had to go down south to Wessex, the land of the Saxons, to go and do some business with a man. And I was just about to step over from Mercia to Wessex when I realised that I had forgotten my peace tie on my sword. So very quickly I found some cord and I was able to go into Wessex without getting into trouble. So today's video is on what is the peace tie and why was it used in Anglo-Saxon history and culture. Goodbye! Hello there, it's me Egil again. Thanks Braggy for that uh, 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 introduction. Today we're talking about peace ties. Were they useful? Well, a peace tie, as the name infers, means it's a tie that keeps the peace. You imagine uh, tempers getting short because of alcohol or whatever, then people carrying swords will just draw the weapon. Now, this piece, simple piece of string, as you can see, you try and pull your sword, it's going to take time. So you have to slacken it off then you can pull it out by which time you've either had the mate run away or you've had second thoughts um it's one of the things king alfred did uh he brought in many laws and fines and um, if you're entering one of his places you had to have a peace tie which was enforced by law uh there were many other things like how to carry a spear if you carried it and took someone's eye out there was a fine so forth it's a very very useful thing to have and it's a safety valve if you like to stop there was enough uh spontaneous violence without encouraging it people realized that uh, it makes sense you know people say oh life was cheap no life is very expensive in any age but more so in the kind of society the Vikings and Saxons had. Yeah, it's all right. You pull your sword out, you slay him, and one of you goes home. But the point is, when somebody dies, that space and jobs they did has to be taken up by other people. Now, it doesn't sound much to you, but it's a big thing. And all because you didn't have a peace time. And let's not forget, you kill one person, you may have brothers, friends, family of various description, and they'll come after you. And when does it end? Yeah? And that's called a blood feud. And in a book by my late hist um, history uh, lecturer, Richard Fletcher, uh, did a book called Blood Feud, lasted 60 years. And in the end, people forget. Why? All because didn't have a little bit of string called a peace tie. Well this is very briefly covering the subject and again we will be looking at this later on and please leave us a comment on hashtag a two minute history we will get back to you just take a bit of time I know I keep saying that but it's the truth. So till we meet again you have a good time enjoy yourselves and be safe. Bye! Tell me that you love me